It looks like Man United have really stepped up their interest in Alex Tellez, the Porto left back. With reports tonight coming from France, coming from Mohamed Bahafsi, an extremely reliable journalist, saying that Man United have agreed a five-year contract with Tellez in terms of the personal terms. All very Sancho-esque in terms of agreeing personal terms before a fee. But Alex Tellez has one year left on his contract with Porto and he has been linked with United over the last month or so because clearly Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has identified the left-back position as a key weakness that he wants to improve this summer. Now, we all thought that was going to be Sergio Regulon, but because of that buyback clause, United did not go and sign him. I agree with that. I think that was the right thing to do. And Tellez, who only has one year left on his contract, has a lot of experience under his belt and would clearly come into United starting 11 straight away. You don't sign a 27-year-old left-back to be an understudy to Luke Shaw. You come in, make him your left-back, and Luke Shaw the understudy. So it looks like United really are going after Tellez. Now, PSG have been linked with him as well because he's only got one year left on his contract. He's not going to cost that much money. So he's going to cost between 20 and 30 million euros. But reports come from Bahafsi. David Ornstein has retweeted it. Gives it a bit more credibility if you need that. But Mohamed Bahafsi is the man that broke Anthony Martial to United. So I think he has his sources well placed. And given the Alex Tellez links to PSG, clearly he does have his links here. I'd be very happy with it. Let's be honest, we'd all be pretty much happy with any sort of signing at this point. But Tellez is, is an experienced Champions League quality player. In terms of... The style of signing Solskjaer has made, I think Sergio Regulon would have been more of a fit. But someone like Tellez is, as I said, he's 27 going on 28. The idea of a five-year contract to someone who's just about to turn 28, that's a little bit strange. Maybe that's something that Tellez is pushing for. And I suppose this is his big contract. When you're 27, you're in the peak of your footballing time as a, as a player anyway. And clearly he could be someone that can come in and substantially improve United's options straight away at left-back. And therefore, maybe we shift on Diogo Dalot. I don't really think he's got a future at the club. It's, I think Solskjaer really likes him. Maybe pushing Brandon Williams out to the right-hand side underneath Wan-Bissaka. The same sort of situation that we could have had if we signed Regulon. But Tellez instead. And given, as I said, his age, 27, it doesn't really seem like he's going to be brought in, if he is brought into United, like, like, I suppose, let me reverse a little bit there. We've agreed personal terms, according to these reports, but we've agreed personal terms, apparently, with Jadon Sancho a long, long time ago, and we still haven't signed Jadon Sancho. It's a bit weird nowadays, isn't it, that you agree personal terms before you agree fees with the clubs, but that's the power that agents have now that they didn't have previously. And it's not uncommon, it's not uncommon sorry, for this to happen. But reports there coming from Bahafsi, who is extremely reliable, as I said, there's no reason to doubt that. There's reason to doubt whether United can now pull us through and actually sign the player because we'd have to agree a fee with Porto. And no doubt we'd go in and say, look, you can have 20 million, whereas realistically they want 30 million. Very similar sounding situation in that sense to Sergio Regulon. And we did not sign Regulon. But let's see what happens with Tellez. And I think a lot of your reaction to this is going to be one of trepidation because PSG, as I said, are linked with signing Tellez as well. Is this just a move by the press to pressure PSG and to do what they're doing with Porto? No one really knows. But because of everything that's gone on this summer, all United fans are sceptical about anything to do with us and signing any sort of player. And just because we've agreed personal terms, if that is the case, and it is true, it doesn't mean we're going to sign Tellez. But I think it's obvious that Solskjaer has told Woodward, look, there's clear problems in this squad. Right winger and left back are two areas that he feels he needs to strengthen in. I would argue centre back and I would argue a defensive midfielder are just as much of a priority as either of those two positions, really. But left back, it was Regulon and we all thought it was going to be Regulon, but the buyback clause, we could not get around it. And the fee as well. Now, Tellez, as I said, that the fee would scare me because United, even 20 million, 20, 25 million for a 27-year-old top quality established Champions League experience left back who's played at the top level in Portugal with the best club for a long time. Well, for a, I don't know how actually long, how long he's been there, but he's 27, so he's got plenty of experience under his belt. Why wouldn't we pay that money? Because we're Man United and we're a bit tight. 
We are tight. Really, that's the case. It's the, it's the reason we haven't signed Jake. Well, I suppose it's a bit different when you're playing 120 million for a player. But Alex Tellez, the reports coming out of France tonight are that United have agreed personal terms to sign him. Now come from Mohamed Bahafsi, who is extremely reliable, and I would consider it to be the truth if he is saying it. What does that mean? The fee is next, and the fee is the thing that I think United could get into the negotiations with and try and get a bit off X, Y, Z. But 25 million for 27-year-old Tellez would be a very fair deal. But Solskjaer wants a left back. We all thought it was going to be Regulon. Now it's looking more likely to be Tellez. If there's any more updates, I'll bring them to you, as I always do. Make sure you drop a like on the video. But Alex Tellez, would you be excited by that signing?